Are you a perfectionist trying to control all the external settings? Do you think you can make things happen for you? What is the difference between being a perfectionist and just looking for excuses to not to do the things or the other way around? Whenever we are in the expectation mode and just trying for the things or the right condition to start happening, a great number of opportunities are going to pass you by. Just because you don't trust in yourself and you don't have probably all the required things that society or standards are asking you to have, doesn't mean you can develop the skills to do the things that you want to, that you can learn new things, that you can start implementing step by step what you want to do and start trusting yourself, building the self-confidence from within and not just expecting a title or a paper to give you the qualifications of the things that you need. You can always start increasing your knowledge and mastering any given topic. The idea is that you start doing the simple things and the small steps to acquire the information, to set the direction and to understand what do you want to achieve in your life? What does your heart tells you to do? What is the guidance, the soul telling you to follow? And things and opportunities and people are just going to be attracted to you, not the other way around. You don't have to look for the opportunities. You don't have to look for the people. Things are going to open for you as you start Focus on yourself in the information that you want to improve, in the skills that you want to acquire. And once you have the clarity of the project or company or service that you want to create, that's the new setting that we are going to have more independent people, more people gathering together and constructing a community where we support each other, where we learn from each other, and when we, where we are just a gifting community, a community that receives and gives. And by doing that, we are going to increase the power of the information that we are receiving. And also we are going to help other people to walk the path that they want, that they need. So, if we start contributing in this way to the new learning environment, to the new contribution environment, abundance is going to be always around you and things are not going to be as difficult as you thought. You just have to be patient and you just have to set the direction that you want to take. And if it's not clear right now, don't worry, just to start with one simple thing, with one simple skill, with one uh, simple task for a day. Don't overload your days or pack your days with busyness, with five, ten things to do when you are not going to achieve them and you are going to feel frustrated and probably you will end up releasing the project just because you overload yourself, you burn out. So that's not the idea. The idea is to go into a marathon, not in a sprint race. We are not against time. Time is in your side if you think so. But if you are just pushing yourself in the competition environment, in all this competitiveness that you think and a scarcity way of thinking, then Probably chances are you are going to release the things, you are not going to trust in yourself, you are going to invest a lot of money in something that is promising you results in one month and that's not even possible. No one started doing the things that they wanted or the passion that they wanted in one month or in six months. It takes time and it takes also the failures and the trials and the errors and all of those experiences, you have to pass them through. 
so that you can start also creating resilience in yourself and having the experience of what not to do and then be able to train other people to help them to guide them into the same path. That is the idea. We are not fighting with each other. We are not competing with each other. We are collaborating with each other. This is the new mindset. This is the new community that we can create. And this is a much more abundant community than the one that relies on competitiveness and having the <laughs> this culture of doing and doing and doing and overwhelming yourself and just burning out so we don't want that we want a community where we can experience peace calm tranquilness and also having the confidence that we can do the things by ourselves it's like when you teach your children anything they didn't learn to walk at the first try they had months to try and they had falls and they were hurt many times and they cried many times. Well, that's the same path for everything in your life. If you didn't learn it when you were a kid or a children, now is the time to learn it when you are an adult and you can rationalize the things much better and understand that this journey is in the long term, but it has the more payoffs in terms of your abundance, knowledge and also service that you can contribute to other people. So do the things, make mistakes, don't worry what other people might say or might not say. Don't worry about the likes, about the views, about all of those things. They are just um, things that are created for you to recycle your brain in dopamine, but that doesn't make any sense. What matters is what you said, what matters is what you want to contribute, and what matters is your uniqueness of your voice, of your creation, and of the things that you can release to the world. So don't hold them up and just trust in yourself. Thank you very much for listening, Ruya and Christina. Thank you for being here. If you resonate with this message, if you think it can help someone that is in a fearful state of not releasing things, just help me to share this information with them. Thank you and have a wonderful afternoon and rest of the week. See you in the weekend. Bye.